Hey folks, Sidebander here. I'm gonna show you how to clean an airbrush. Let's get to the supplies, let's get started. Paper plate's handy so uh, you can keep the parts from rolling all over the place. Some Q-tips, some dental brushes from Walmart, Walgreens, whatever, what have you. You know, whatever's uh, handy as far as your convenience store. Pick some of these up. Have little plastic bristles, they're good for scrubbing out paint. Windshield washer fluid or Windex and ammonia. Don't need those. Stay away from those. They will attack the brass in your airbrush. Rubbing alcohol. You do want to use rubbing alcohol. 50 water, 50 rubbing alcohol. 50-50 mix. Or if you want the Createx uh, cleaning solution, what have you, or your paint uh, manufacturer's uh, cleaning solution. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and take the windshield washer fluid and ammonia out of the picture. We don't want to use those in an airbrush. Ammonia eats brass and most often in uh, times you'll find that ammonia is present in windshield washer fluid or Windex. So we're just going to flush out a little bit and um, get this going. We'll just take this paint here and uh, dump the remainder out in a little storage container. If it's not contaminated, try to save the rest of it. Uh, there's just a drop or two in there. You can go ahead and flush it with just some water if you're using water-based paint. Okay, um, if you have hard water, you may want to use distilled water. Um, we have hard water here, so I'm not going to use the water from the, uh, the city water coming uh, in on the main faucet. Don't want to use that stuff here. I don't need scale on my brush. I'm going to use an RO faucet and fill my brush up with some reverse osmosis water. And uh, just start flushing out, you know, any leftover paint residue in there. Just put my hand up there so it doesn't splatter all over the wall. Just kind of scrape around in the bowl a little bit, a little paint cup. And remove any pieces of paint in there and you're ahead of the game. I'm removing the crown cap on this brush. I can't back flush uh, this brush with a crown cap because can't get any pressure built up. So if you've got a brush with a crown cap, remove it, pull your trigger down and straight back, and then gently run your finger over the end of the nozzle while you're spraying, and uh, you'll see it bubble in the paint bowl there. And the water will bubble a little bit, and you're back flushing. Uh, any paint residue that might be caught in a nozzle area. Okay, you're ready for your 50-50 uh, alcohol water mix. Pour a little bit of that on top of the brush if you have it gravity fed. And um, just spray that through. Work the trigger back and forth. Back flush it again. I'm just pulling the trigger straight down on this dual action brush and back uh, full volume just to get that to go through there and let it bubble up a little bit. If you've got some stubborn paint in there, grab a Q-tip, you know, stick it down in there, you know, just kind of work it and get it out of there. A little bit of scrubbing on this one. Normally I don't have to spend this much time cleaning, but uh, this brush sat for a few minutes. You don't want to let your brushes sit. I must stress that. The longer you let your brush set when you're last sprayed, um, you're going to have you know, a harder task ahead of you to clean up. I'm going to stretch the Q-tip out a little bit so I can get it down in that crown cap and wipe out any paint residue. lid for the vat on the top of it, the paint cup. Get this lid nice and clean. Just a little bit of mud. alcohol and water there. Try to keep everything spotless. You don't want to leave a residue on anything on your airbrush. You want it spotlessly clean. If you let stuff build up on uh, on this cap for the top of the brush, 
Uh, you'll have a hard time removing it or putting it back on in the future. Okay, let's take the handle off. The needle chuck. Untighten that and the chucking nut and pull the needle out. A little bit of 50-50 alcohol and water. And a paper towel. Gently around the needle. Pulling straight out with the paper towel. Clean the needle off. Don't want to bend the needle. Pulling straight out from the bottom of the needle and then the other way. Make sure there's no residue of pain on there. If you have residue of paint on there, keep cleaning until you get it all off. You don't want to leave that on there. I'm just going to put the needle back in, and um, this would be a minor cleaning. I'd put the needle back in, and you'd be good to go. You'd pretty much be done at this point. Put the handle back on, and let the brush sit on the plate, dry out. But, we'll go more thorough into this thing and we'll go ahead and pull the um, nozzle cap off. Let's say we've got some crap down inside of there. I don't want crud to stay down in there. Normally I put this on kind of finger tight but if it's stuck on there pretty good you might want to use the uh, wrench uh, that came with your airbrush uh, to remove the uh, nozzle cap. The nozzle, excuse me. So taking the wrench, we'll put it on the nozzle, get that nozzle off the front of the airbrush. If you can, shine a flashlight down in there and if you can see light pass through, you're good. I know this nozzle's kind of plugged up, so I just chucked it in the little cup there with um, cleaning solution from Createx and let it sit in there. Taking a dental brush, you just want to run it through all the pieces of the airbrush. Anything that will fit in, go ahead and just run it through it and clean it. And You see a buildup of paint anywhere, it must be removed. Okay, taking this back apart again because we're going to do more thorough cleaning, I said, on, uh, on this uh, particular brush. So go ahead and remove the chucking nut and the needle again. Pull the rest of the pieces out of the airbrush. Wipe everything down, make sure everything's clean, spotlessly clean. Don't want to leave any dirt on uh, anything in there. Don't leave any paint residue on anything in your brush. If you've got paint residue inside of your brush, then you can't blame the manufacturer for the brush not working right. You want to make sure it's spotlessly clean.